Hi, in this video we're going to graph this function. We have f of x equal to the square root of x minus 5. We have to graph, find the domain, and find the range. Let's go ahead and work through it. Solution. So to do this, we're going to start by graphing the square root of x. So if you have y equals the square root of x, it looks something like this. Right? It goes up forever, but it goes up really slowly. And so whenever you have something like this, f of x equals the square root of x minus 5, whenever you subtract from the x, you want to go right by 5. It's always backwards. When you subtract from the x, you go right 5. When you add to the x, you go left 5. So basically, we're going to take this entire graph and shift it to the right. So here's the y-axis. Here's the x-axis, and so we're going to go right 5. So this is 5, let's say, and then so now here we have our funny graph. It looks like a finger, right? That's how I memorize it. It just looks like that, right? It's like, that's the square root function. You see how it looks like my finger? It's kind of weird, but yeah, it works. And so now from the picture, we can get the domain. So the domain, the domain is the set of all x values that give rise to y values. So if I pick an x value here, there's no y value on the graph. But once I get here, you see, I can get a y value, 0. Pick an x value, get a y value. Pick an x value, get a y value. So basically, I can start picking x values that will give rise to y values at 5. And we include the 5 because there's a solid dot there. And it goes on forever, right? I can pick x values all the way over here, and I'll always get y values. So the domain would be 5 to infinity. As far as the range, the range is all the possible y values. The smallest y value in this case is 0, and then this, this does go up forever, right? It just goes up slowly. So 0 to infinity would be the range in this particular problem. So that's it. I hope this video has been helpful to someone. Good luck.